guys know this guy. Hi. We got, I'll show you in a minute, but we got a giant stack of cabinets. So we're gonna take this section, this is, uh, what do we call this, LZHQ? No, 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 we were gonna clarify, and this is Alberto's, this is not mine. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just, but this we're holding is your him. place. I mean, yeah. we're just, we, like literally this was in storage for Alberto, and then we like moved it here, and it's just a placeholder right now. I think it's cool because it's gonna be a much bigger transformation. I took a before picture so we can do a before and after. The, it'll with be the funny. lights and everything. Are we that. doing the lights today? We can't do that. We need an electrician to do that. You're not an electrician? I got no, none of those skills. I actually paid someone to do my own lights. We so what we're, what we're doing, hopefully I measured right, but the plan is to go from here over, hang a left, and then come down to about here. Uh, so we have uh, drawer cabinets, uh, upper cabinets. I didn't do, I did this a little differently than mine. Mine has closets on the side, uh, but yours is just gonna be straight countertop all the way because we wanna be able to put a vise on the end at some point. So yeah, we're gonna put this together. The, the cool thing about this stuff is everything's built. The disadvantage is it costs more to ship. Mm. The advantage is we don't have to do anything but bolt it together. Yeah, we spent like half a day last time putting other stuff together, huh? I think it did more. We had like six or eight people. I think we did a full day plus another half a day. Because remember, we had to bolt in the wall and the whole mm. thing. So this would be a lot easier to do. And then, uh, um, let's see, what else do we have to do to this stuff? Pretty simple. I mean, so what you'll see is the cabinets sit on the ground. Then we take a, uh, a they call it a, a, they call it a, I forget what they call that thing. Anyway, there's a brace that connects the two. We bolt it together, and then the backing pieces. And once it all shores up, it you know it's super solid. So cool. anyway, let's get rolling. So here's the uh, here's the cabinets, uppers, corner. Uh, in order to get this, we rushed this here. We actually got some cabinets that were off of their display unit on the on the uh, on their uh, unit at uh, Sonic headquarters. Uh, we've got lights back there. We won't be doing the lights today, um, but we have uh, drawer cabinets. And uh, and uh, and all the all the countertops and all the pieces that go with it. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get rolling on this right now. Actually, we can probably just lift it up. Yeah, just grab it right here. Is there feet? Because I can and just lift can it from the bottom. Walk it off. Then we gotta just put it. That's right. And then we just did one of these deals. Push it over that way a little bit. Step it out. Okay, set it down, and then yeah, this is how we did it. Number one. It's gonna look really nice in here. Yeah. All right, so we gotta move this this monster out of here. Do the wheels not turn on this? Yes, but once they do, they get stuck one way. It weighs more. For a second, I thought that the wheels only rolled one way. I'm like, that's a design flaw. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the broom and mop. Yeah. This thing, man. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Okay, here's our corner. Grab the mop stuff. So we'll probably sweep this out here. Tommy, those seats are gonna have to move. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get all these lowers unboxed and we'll loose fit them in position. And then we're gonna figure out you know, what array or what setup we want it or how we want it to look. And then once we do that, we can start bolting them together and we'll bolt them and we'll bolt them, say, a couple of feet off the wall so we can get back there. And then, since we have a bunch of guys, we'll be able to push it back in place. I just mean for like power tools and stuff. Yeah, because what, what you'll find is if you have one, two, three, four, five, six bigger drawers, yeah. you'll have a lot more use for all the little drawers than you do for the big ones. Yeah. Because I did that in my wash bay. I did a bunch of bigger drawers, and now I have all this wasted space. You yeah. You're putting ratchets and stuff like that. I think I set it up. I think there's three 26s right here. I don't remember. Or maybe it's a 34 and two 26s. 
We're gonna just kind of rough it in place. So these are gonna flank, at least the way I set it up. So you have one of these on this end and the other one on the other end. This, the four drawer is gonna go here, or the, you know, the bigger drawer, the taller drawer will go here. The 34 and the doored cabinet. And over here will be a 26, a 34, I think, I don't remember how I, oh no, I think it was two 26s, a 34, and two 26s. have a 26, 34, 26. We're gonna put these flanking. Which one is that? Perfect. Yeah. So I set this up so that we have room here. We have seven inches here to spare. So we've got a, a 26 closet, a 34, and then the big drawer option, corner cabinet. Uh, these will all have uppers above them. There will be no upper above the center, but there will be the pegboards. And then we have the 26, 26, 34, 26, lots and lots of tool storage. And then the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the 26 inch closet on the side. So Alberto and I were talking about outlets and, uh, and I was talking to him about how we did mine. So we have a quad outlet here that we'll be able to kind of snake around and put various power strips you know wherever needed and then it would probably make sense to junction off of that and put a box here somewhere so that the guys when they're you know when they're working on the lift that they can uh they can pull pull extension cords where needed okay so i have an adam set this up here so we're gonna put the wire pipes in first i learned my lesson after the first uh first time we put these together and so what we're doing is taking all the screws or the uh, whatever these things are called cap head, cap head bolts and we're putting them all in place. And then we're gonna take, and you'll notice on these wire pipes, that's how it's keyholed. That's so cool. then we just set that, that in place and that helps pull the cabinet together. And then from there, all we have to do is level it. So actually take one of these and hang it, hang it on this one. Yeah, so that, this is the bottom. That's the bottom, up this way. Oh. Yeah. There you go. I don't understand. Now you're, now you're on. Boom. That's easy. Yeah, and then when we torque them, it'll pull it it'll pull it all together. That's cool. Yeah. So it's really simple. easy. And I tried to uh, convince Adam to buy like $20,000 worth of tools, but we'll get, we'll get them there someday. You need an extra like 20 sets of 10 mil and 12 mil sockets. Dude, I had that <laughs> and I lost them already. Just buy a whole drawer full of them, the exact same. That size. was my Christmas present last year. They're all gone. We've got our drawers where we could do it. All right, so we're putting the uprights in place. You could have got MSS Plus. This this array would have been like uh, forty grand. That's it. Fifty, something like that. It's less than my watch. <laughs> Your movement watch. Shut up. <laughs> I do have a nice watch, and I never, ever, ever wear it. Bet. Ever. Got nice cars, you never drive them. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> <laughs> I do drive it. No, you do. Making progress on the uppers. Super legit. So the, you do the 60 millimeter of wire pipes in the middle and then there's a 30 millimeter that end caps it and so then adam noticed that you know we have our mounting positions here pretty threaded for our uppers so our upper cabinets bolt right into these pipes how many how many Just stuck. about that yeah. like that yeah so now we're ready to put our backer boards or So here's how we do the backer board. Oh, does it go in between them? Yeah, see, they're already pre-threaded. Do you need the impact for this guy? Um, these are screwdriver, but yeah, we need it for, for the end. end. Here, I got another one right here. This one's cool, this little one. Mm, I got that. I'd like both of mine have gone missing, so I don't use them anymore. What's going on? No, it's too short. <clears throat> so what do I put in the pegboard? 
Uh, the stainless screws, these things. No, I just mean like from this side, if I'm like mounting something to it. Uh, they have all kinds of little goofy little tools and things that I didn't do. Like, is there like something I could get from like Home Depot or? Home Depot. No. That's meant for pegboard? No, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I don't think so. They have their own like stuff. Here's what I'm doing. Putting the screws in on the side. We, need, we, need, we should have, uh, for this video, we should have put the lights in first so I had better, uh, better lighting. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. So notice how the wire pipe works for our end cap, and then the wider one to expand the double cabinet. All right, we're torquing down all the wire pipes. You got all of the, all of the uppers in and I guess I should say all of the pegboard in. All right, so inside these side cabinets that come with a couple of shelves, which are really nice actually. So what I did was I opened up all the drawers, put the key in the upper left of each, each cabinet so we'll know where they are because the bottom drawers of the cabinets have all the hardware that we need to cinch these or get these mounted next to each other. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to mess with the leveling feet to get all these lined up perfectly and then these torqued together to keep the whole array nice and solid. See these drawers, or I'm sorry, the shelves have these awesome little tabs on the end to keep it from bouncing around and then I'll show you how these mount. But it's really a pretty slick idea, system that they have for this. system is just pretty, it's pretty sharp, pretty smart way of doing it. And we take a little rubber piece and put it in place. Nice. We'll take the drawer out so we can make our connection here. It's one side up, one side down, pulls out. And it goes back in just as easily. And that frees up enough space for us to connect the two. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to bring the feet up a little bit. So all you do is twist on the foot and that'll bring the level. So what I'll do is I'll have someone pull up on here and I'll adjust the foot to bring the level up. And then we're gonna take this little piece here and take these and there's a hole that runs between them. I'm gonna put that on right now. And that's how we make sure that they stay tight together. All right, so we're using the pallet jack. This one looks pretty level, huh? So what we've been doing is putting the pallet jack down underneath to bring one cabinet up or one cabinet down, depending on what needs to happen. Taking out a couple of drawers so we can get these pieces together. These the screws that we need are in the drawer. Boom. Done. All right, and then this one's got to come up. This is lifting the whole cabinets up. Are we doing the countertops before we push it against the wall? Um, probably not. I like to keep as much weight as possible. That way we can actually move it. So we'll just be waiting on them to come back with the uh, extension cord? Well, that would, we put those in after the countertops anyway. Oh yeah, you're right. We'll see. We'll have enough guys that we'll be able to manhandle. Okay, we're all level now. I left the top drawers out because we're gonna have to bolt the countertops in. So now we're ready to, we have an 86 going here, another 86 inch countertop going there, and then a 53 going here. So I'm gonna put the countertops in first and then we'll do the upper second. Uh, waiting on the guys to come back with some power strips so I don't wanna, I don't wanna take this, uh, I wanna take this too quickly and put too much weight on it. But we may just finish building this and then we'll worry about pushing it in place afterward. Level right here, it's perfect there. There's number one. Okay, fingers out of there. All 
All right, so here's our countertop. So there's a 56 section, 86 section, corner, and then another 86. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, we decided it's gonna be better to get the countertops fixed once we push this into place, because it's gonna pull and shift as we push it back where it belongs. So we're gonna put the uppers in, wait for the guys to come back with the parts for the power strips, extension cords, and then we'll be, we'll be rolling. All right, so you put the upper screws in first. There's keyholes here, let's line into place. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Our uppers. And then you take, put your lower screw in each hole. And then these will also have screws to join, I think. Yeah, so they, they join at the top. So we're working through these. One over here, two there, and we'll have three more. All right, all the uppers are going together. There's a screw up here, which you probably can't see. It pulls them together, just the same type of bolt that we had on the bottom here. So we got all these uppers in, relatively lined up. And then we got to tweak these a little bit to get the screw to go in. All right, we got our uppers in. And we're going to put our power strips in place, get our power cords all routed. And then uh, we're going to try to push the sucker back in place so we can fix the countertops. See, look, these, these defiant power strips from Home Depot are darn near spot on. I mean, it doesn't get any closer than that. Same color scheme, awesome. So we're gonna put those in the, in the few strategic positions. And then, so we can push this back as far, we want these power cords with the you know, extension cord for tighter spaces. So here's our setup. We could have gone with a little bit of a smaller hole there, but we, uh, we went and got, again, those low profile uh, extension cords and we'll just tie that up and tuck it behind there. We've got an OE looking power outlet. We're gonna do another one over here, and then a third one as far as we can get the extension cord to reach. All right, so I just drill the pilot in order to keep this on track. We're almost done. We'll put this other power cord in, and then we can push this thing in place. Oh, we have to mount the countertop, so take my self-tapper. I'm gonna put, these are small, so we're gonna put four of them in. Nothing straight. Mm -hmm. Bingo. So that's how you do that. Okay, we got all our power strips in. We're gonna go gather up a whole crew and try to muscle this thing in place. You know, worst case, we can take all the drawers out, but I think we'll be able to get it to go. We gotta push it back about two feet each way. All right, here we go. Everybody pick a spot. Start pushing. So... We better do this in units. This is, this seems, I got the weight off of this. Okay. So this is gonna be your heaviest thing that needs to be pushed. So we're gonna go this way first? Yeah, you have to to get past the pillow. Okay, so we'll go See up we against. Can do it? Not all the way to the wall, but close to it. Okay. Ready? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's Way easy. easy. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't go through the Keep wall. going. Yeah, we need like a little bit more. All right. Okay. Work here. Uh, now we need to go. This way? Let's put this under there and it'll make it probably Oh, I didn't know we had that under there. <laughs> yeah, that was all most of it. We have like. Do we have enough room? Four to four, to four inches. Okay, good. Five inches. Good. Four, four to four? Four to four. Huh? Four, to four? four to four and a half. Florida? Or Florida? Oh, go. Cool. Oh. That's not careful. Yeah. Push. And we hit the electrical box or the electric line. Ow. Are we hitting like the clip on that line? I can't see, but that's my guess. What? All right. Uh, 
Six inches. Yeah, we got six more to go. Dang, that looks good. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> We're touching here. I need a little more in the corner if that's this is. Yeah, because we need to kick kick yeah, this out. Kind of one. Kick this one, out. Two, three. There it goes. Bingo. Any better than that? That does look really good. We lost power. Yep. It did pull out. Here, oh God. Out. Shoot. Keep going. All right. All right. Can someone fit back there? <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Yeah, it's in the floor there. Hope he's not claustrophobic. All right, everybody push. Yeah, chill. <laughs> this yeah. work? Probably. I'm going to get in there and fix our power cord. He's over here towards the wall. We're going that way. Right? Yeah. Still that well, way? Let's see. Let's, yeah, push the whole thing. Ready? <clears throat> Something's not. Oh, because we have a gap down here. Yeah. All right. While I torque this down, if we can have a couple people push so that I can get these in place. Damn, there has bands on. I got up here. Adam. <laughs> Only person with bands on. <laughs> Look at all my footprints. <laughs> You just turn those alerts off. Um, okay, so this hasn't been done yet. No, yeah. And putting on the toe kicks. Look how good it looks with the toe kick. Yeah. The cool thing about these cabinets is, like you said, they're kind of like yeah, it's a lot of money, but I'll have them forever, you know. Yep. Yeah, and then you'll if you want to sell them, you'll sell them for sixty percent of what you paid for them, you know. You could sell these to a mechanic shop in a second. You trade list these suckers. I'm thinking what I'll probably do is put another workbench over here. For like, if we have to have like a trans out of a car or something. Mm -hmm. Like a big heavy. So it doesn't wind up on this. What do you think, dude? They look legit. Wait till you get some lights in here. I know. That'd and some insane. tools. We got so many drawers now and no tools. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of tools. Yeah, you got me to splurge on the cabinets, but not on the tools. So let's take a look at, you know, the idea here I had was to flank the left and right side with a regular counter, a regular closet. And if you take a look, we'll put the, uh, we'll put the, whatever the, whatever the, what are those things called? Shelves. So notice the shelves come with little protectors too, which is cool. Yeah, that's really cool that we don't have to like cut them all up, yeah. especially in all the drawers and everything. Yeah, and then these, that's a 34 inch cabinet. So soon I'm gonna have you talked into the uh, the Sonic tools, man. Because they fit, imagine they fit perfectly in those drawers. Oh, I'm sure they do. And then we did one taller cabinet. Check it, look at that corner cabinet. Look how much darn you can put so much crap in it's there. It's deep. It's insane. Might be able to fit a trans in there, I'll let you know. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting. We, we should have done the lighting first so I had a better video. But there's a shelf in there, then a 24 inch six drawer. Magnetic clothes, too. Yeah. Oh, the drawer, the doors, if you ever need to take them off, take a look. It's just a spring load, and the whole door pops right off in two seconds. So oh, that's nice, yeah. That thing. Nice and easy. I decided not to do a center upper so it stayed open, but if you ever want to get one, we can do that. You um, decided not to do a center or a, a corner cabinet because they weren't in stock is the real answer. <laughs> cool logic, but I'll call you out. No, I've had mine without it, and I kind of like it. No, so I, I agree, that's though. That's why I built yours that way. We can put all the trophies here since they're so big. <laughs> you know, we could almost, I almost thought about, you know, you leave one of these out so you have a place to, like, stand. Mm. But, I don't know, those uppers I find super Oh, useful. dude, we could put a TV right here. Corner mounted TV. That would actually, like, flow really well. Yeah. It'd have to be tiny, though. Yeah. You'd be better off taking one of the 34s out. And then the uppers, pull one of those uppers open. It's their um, oh, slow opener, or whatever you're going to call it. They have little piston thingers. I should have my terminology down, shouldn't I? If I'm going to be making uh, videos. Yeah, if you're going to make technical videos, probably. Yeah, we have the, the three inch master <laughs> hydraulic finger. Is made in I used Germany. I'm just really pumped at my fabrication skills 
and that are defiant. Notice how it says defiant or defiant. Um, Those are great fabrication shit. skills, Matt. That obsessed garage edge right there. <laughs> Back to good enough garage again. Uh, I gotta mess with you. Yeah. I gotta find other things that people don't see. You're fake, man. <laughs> Matt Mormon exposed. He photoshopped stuff like this out of the picture so you guys can't see it. It's bull crap. I show him everything. <laughs> no, if it was his own garage, he'd have this like perfect and painted. No, mine looks exactly the same. I'm just kidding. I went to the store to get some grommets, but it was too late. Ooh, grommets would be the obsessed move. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, like a desk grommet. Yeah. And then we have toe kick all the way around. Um, the toe kick certainly looks better. The only problem with the toe <coughs> kick is you kick your darn toes on it all the time, but before you could kind of stand with it under it. And that's the, that's the array. What do you think? Legit? It's pretty rad, yeah. It's gonna be really cool to see kind of how it flows and how cool it looks when we have a car all the way up in the air too because the car is gonna be yeah. about level with the upper cabinet and then you'll just see the cabinets underneath it. Yeah, I think people are gonna go crazy over this in the open house. They're gonna what? They're gonna go crazy when they see this setup at the open you think? house. You think? And then, I was gonna say we'll grind some of those sonic emblems off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, cabinets are done. How we long? started this at like 10, 15, 10, 30. So, and then we had to unbox everything. So it's 2, it's 2 56, so we finished at like 2.30. Barely an afternoon. Kind of and I got- and So 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, 2, 30, so four hours with basically three of us. Yeah, it's not bad at all. You know? Basically two, because I was editing my video for like That's an hour. That's true, yeah. So that is one of the huge advantages to this setup versus, I remember, remember we like sat on the counters and were like spent, because we spent, and we had like six people working I think for two days to do the, the saber cabinets. Definitely the biggest advantage of these so far that I've seen is the pre-cut uh, like actual like foam pads. Yeah. How easy it is to install and the fact that they're not sharp and like the handles aren't protruding because that yeah. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 the, you know, the gauge steel of this is not <coughs> as hefty, but like things like the corners and the ang you know just just. It's a nicer finish. finish. Yeah. Yeah. It's that next tier, that next level. I mean, these are designed for shops, you know, mm -hmm. for, for a real deal. So if you put it in your garage, I mean, it's going to be sick. And then, you know what I mean? Like, these are, these are still out there, you know what I mean? Should I try to break it? No, no. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the, the peg, pegboard's not my favorite thing, but I think the pegboard kind of disappears in the awesomeness of it. For sure. And this array was, I think, right at 13,000, 13,500, I think, with shipping. You know, to ship something like this is like 1800 bucks, depending on where you are in the country. But we had 1800 pounds of... Matt didn't packs. tell me how much it costs. He just said, give me your credit card. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. he said 1300 No, to ship it? No, yeah, for the whole thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, a little bit more than that. <laughs> at 13500 13, Which, these actually, believe it or not, these were about 35% higher, you know, when, they, when this was their only cabinet line. They were able to lower the price, and then now they have their higher-end MSS Plus. Well, I, I think if you compare it to something like Sabre, it might seem expensive, but if you compare it to anything Snap in the actual on, professional, Lista, like... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a deal. Very reasonable, yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're legit. They look, they look awesome. I can't wait to see what this looks like when we have tons of lighting in here. They actually have 12 fixtures over there that you're going to be putting in soon. My MSS Garage lights, and, uh, yeah, dude, thanks for letting me do this. Yeah. This looks great. How do you like my tie rack? I know it's a little bit of a mess right now, but we're, I'm trying to be a little obsessed garage with it. I like that. Clean. Do you notice that all the, all, like, no tire labels are showing? They're all facing the same direction? Yeah. I see one. One? Oh, that yeah. must be Alberto's. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah. Another cabinet array. I'm sure we'll be doing more stuff here in, uh, in LZHQ. So, Is that what we're calling it? Yeah. I guess that works. Yeah. Cool. All right, man. Appreciate it. Wait, I gotta give you a ride in the BMW now. But I guess that'll be my video. Yeah, so. I don't know if I wanna do that. Yeah. No, we have to do that. They Except want it. They wanna see it, Matt. Stay tuned for more crazy. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. Foot to the floor.